video we're going to find the surface area of a surface of revolution. This surface of revolution. So the question is find the area of the surface of revolution for y equals x cubed where the x values go from 0 to 2 and we'll rotate this about the x-axis. I've drawn that over here. So we have the function in red y equals x cubed. The x values are permitted to go from 0 to 2 and I've rotated this around the x-axis, so I've taken this red curve and just spun it around the x-axis. And the kind of shape you get is, it's almost like a parachute. If you were to lie out a parachute and you were to pick it up from the centre, then that's the kind of shape you would get. Good. To find the surface area of this shape, we're going to apply this formula. And there's some thing here from the legal department that says when we can apply this formula. It says that uh, the surface area of revolution about the x-axis of a simple curve, parametrized like this, is given by this formula. So let's just make sure that we can invoke this thing. A simple curve is a curve that doesn't inter intersect itself. And we see here that the curve y equals x cubed is lovely and doesn't intersect itself. We're also required that the x values are not negative, And we can see that the, we're, we're dealing with the right kind of things here. So if we can invoke this formula, the only thing remaining is to parametrize this curve. And there's lots of parametrizations. You can choose your favorite. My favorite, and perhaps the simplest parametrization, is just to let x equal t. Then uh, y, which was equal to x cubed, is just t cubed. And surface area is given by this here formula. Uh, a is going from, well, x is just t, so a is going from 0 to 2. So it's 0 to 2 of 2 pi y of t is just t cubed, or by, yes, the square root of uh, the derivative of x with respect to t, which is just 1. The derivative of y with respect to t is 3t squared dt. Good. The problem it now just relies on me being able to integrate this beast, which is something that we're very practiced at by this stage. I'm going to make a substitution. Let u be equal to whatever this junk is here inside the square root. That's 1 plus, uh, there should be a squared there, 9t to the 4. So du is equal to 9 times 4 is 36t to the 3 dt, which is nice. So this area then becomes area from, I'll make my substitution when t is 0, u is 1, and when t is 2, u is 145, 2 pi. 36 square root u, the u. Cool, and I can do that. That becomes pi on 10 times oh, 2 on 3, u to the 3 on 2. 1 to 145, which gives me pi on 27 times by 145 to the 3 over 2 minus 1. Thank you.